And I'm going to share a video with you that just absolutely, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm almost speechless. I, I just can't believe this is happening in 2024. This is a video. It's so awful. It's just God awful. Um, this is a video of the FBI reportedly being sent or sending agents to a woman's house in Stillwater, Oklahoma to question her own political beliefs protected under the First Amendment. Okay, this is a free country. This is a democracy, right, President Biden? Questioning her political beliefs that she posted on Facebook. Um, unless these guys are impersonating federal agents and this is some kind of scam, this is the most serious red line being crossed by our government that I can even fathom in my lifetime. Um, let's check this video out and then we'll talk some more about it. Can we just move in front of the house so the dogs don't go crazy? Sure we can, yeah. I need you to identify yourself and let me take imagery of your IDs. I'm not going to share my credentials on the phone. Um, so you said you were with the FBI? That's correct. And why won't you show me your credentials? We did. I, I showed you my credentials. I didn't let, take a look at them. I said, one second, I'll be right back. Are you going to show me your credentials or no? Yeah, we did already. So, and we identified ourselves. So, what we'd like to do? I didn't look at your credentials again. Well, I we, didn't verify them. I, w I told you to wait, and I went inside. Okay, that's correct. What we'd like to do is just have a conversation with you about some social media posts that you've made. Would you be willing to talk to us today about that? No, I would not. I would like you to later talk on with my lawyer. Okay. Do you have identification do you have cards? That we can reach no, you? no. I'll get back to you. Okay. All right. Do you mind having your attorney uh, contact the FBI office in Oklahoma City? What's the number? What are the names of the agents? I'll Google it for you. So you're refusing to identify yourselves? No, we've already identified them. Again, I did not take a look. Okay, so the phone number for the FBI in Oklahoma City is 405-290-7770. Okay. If you just call me and tell him that Facebook flagged me for posts. Uh, Facebook gave us a couple of screenshots of, of your accounts. Okay, so we no longer live in a free country and we can't say oh, yeah. what we want? No, we totally do. That, that's why we're not here to arrest you or anything like that. We well, you can't stuff. arrest me for freedom of speech. We live in America. Correct. Yes, exactly, so it's kind of weird that you want to come talk to me about me exercising my freedom of speech. We do this every day, all day long, talk to people. Okay. It's just an effort to keep everybody safe, make sure that nobody has any ill will or, every day. or anything like that. And we've got no reason to believe necessarily that that's you, and that's why we just wanted to have a conversation. So do you that. have a conversation with everybody on the neighborhood? Uh, do you have information with anybody else in the neighborhood? Is I mean, all I've done is exercise my right oh, no, as an American to citizen to on a public social media platform with my personal opinions, correct? Okay, Mo most of the individuals, right, in America, especially older generation, right, have Facebook. Are you questioning all the citizens in America? We, we certainly would if we had any, any sort of concerns. Okay, so you have concerns about my personal opinions? If you don't want to talk to us, then you can... I'm definitely not going to have a talk with you. Well, thank you for your time this morning, and feel free to reach out to us. Okay, they're so-called FBI. This is Rola Abdel Jawad in Stillwater, Oklahoma. This is America. Number one, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's illegal when asked for identification to refuse uh, an American citizen who's not under arrest or not being detained. It's, it's, 
actually illegal to refuse to present proper credentials and proper ID, especially in this day and age when scams, uh, people who uh, lie, cheat, commit fraud every single day. It's happening more and more. Um, people, you know, um, coming to your house and pretending to be somebody they're not in order to gain access or invade your home or burglarize your home, et cetera, et cetera. But what I was going to say was, I don't know if you heard what the guy said. The guy said, do you almost asked the citizen, uh, again, this was in Oklahoma, because she said, "Do you guys are you guys going around to everybody in the neighborhood who makes these kind of public posts on Facebook? First, he said, we want to question you on some of your posts on Facebook. Then when she said, are you doing that to everybody? He said, almost requesting her to give up names and give up addresses. He said, quite pointedly, do you know anybody else in the neighborhood who's posting things like this on Facebook? I mean, that is like scary stuff. Now, I have seen a lot of staged viral videos online. I've seen a lot of staged social media posts that are completely fake. And when I watch this video, compared to my expertise in social media, being a media personality and a media content creator for decades, this seems 95% legit. Now, you might be saying, Nez, what's that other 5%? I'm actually truly hoping that this is not real. Um, I'm hoping, so I'm leaving a little bit of room. But of all the staged and fake videos that kind of uh, um, create these sort of narratives that supposedly perpetuate misinformation, um, this seems 95% legit. It seems like they are not acting. The woman who is recording, the citizen, the homeowner, is not an actor. The people who are claiming to be agents and questioning her on her Facebook posts, they don't even come close to me. They don't rub me off, uh, give me the, the, the uh, impression that they're actors. Um, and you might be saying, well, hey, Nez, why are you even showing this then if you're not 100% certain that this isn't fake? Because this is not an anomaly. This is not something that is beneath Facebook and beneath Mark Zuckerberg and the company, the parent company that owns Facebook, Meta. This has happened many times before. Um, it is no doubt, there is little doubt, no doubt, no question marks as to does the government reach out to these social media platforms uh, and ask them to take down what they consider to be misinformation, especially during the most heated election year we've seen in multiple decades, if not 150 years. I did my special, I did my video on Leslie Stahl in 60 Minutes with their quote unquote misinformation research specialists, which is a completely made up title from these LGBTQ uh, uh, supreme leftist elitist academics who think they know better than you and I, who think that we are not smart enough to exercise critical discernment and critical thinking, and that they should have governance and oversight over what gets posted. That's fascism. I mean, that's communism, essentially. Um, and so this is, this is a pattern that's been happening. This is something that's been happening a lot. Uh, and if you think I'm making this up, I want to share a clip with you from Mark Zuckerberg going on the Joe Rogan podcast and saying, this commercial like there was a lot of attention on twitter during the election because of the hunter biden laptop story the new yeah, york we post had that too. yeah so you guys censored that as well so we took a different path than twitter um i mean basically the background here is the fbi i think basically came to us uh, some some folks on our team it was like hey um just so you know, like you should be on high alert. There was the, we we thought that there was a lot of Russian propaganda in the 2016 election. We have it on notice. So there, there you have it from the horse's mouth. Nothing gets by Zuckerberg. He is the owner, operator, CEO, president, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, of that entire company, Facebook, which is owned by Meta, which is uh, the oversight parent company of Facebook. Um, if you don't remember, that was the Hunter uh, Biden uh, laptop story that then Twitter back in 2022, before Elon Musk bought it and made it a free speech, a true free speech forum, um, you know, and by the way, when Elon bought Twitter and turned it into X, he released 
all of these, aka Twitter files, which exposed the massive attempt by the government, the collusion with uh, the um, the Democrats and Democrat-run coalitions, Obama, Clinton, Biden, uh, in tandem, in in uh, coercion with Twitter to suppress conservatives, suppress and ban the tr the president. I mean, the sitting president. They ban Trump. Um, and so uh, there you have it from the horse's mouth, admitting the government comes to face. So uh, that's why I'm sharing this video is because this is not something new. And I guarantee you mainstream media, I guarantee you won't see this on any of the networks. You won't see the story on any of the networks. But this is a major, major red line. I truly believe, and this is why I said it in my 60 Minutes video, where I talked about Leslie Stahl's segment on we have these academic researchers, these misinformation specialists that tell us you guys are uh, allowing too much free speech. Yeah, it's called free speech. And I echo what Jim Jordan said in that interview. The American people are smart enough. We're not stupid. We're not uh, people who can be easily manipulated by just seeing a post. We understand that there's a lot of people out there on the internet that maybe don't uh, tell the truth, right? We understand that. You're not supposed to, just like my grandfather used to tell me back way before computers, way before the internet, don't always believe what you read in the papers. Nothing's changed. It's just the medium has changed. The technology has changed. Human beings are still the same. They're full of it. They're self-absorbed, self-important, entitled, ambitious, vindictive, all of those things, right? Narcissistic. And so you have to decipher for yourself, use critical thinking. The government cannot suppress freedom of expression. This is why our country is the greatest. The First Amendment is protected. It protects citizens to be able to express themselves. Sending FBI agents to a, a, an American citizen's home and demanding you, you need to answer some questions. I mean, it's just, this is getting Gestapo. This is getting ridiculous. I am very appalled by this. So whether or not that video is real or not, again, I think it's 95% uh, chance that it's legitimate because I've seen a lot of fake videos out there and this does not come across as one. This is happening, and it's happened before. So be vigilant, Nez Nation. Be aware, Nez Nation. Um, we need to raise awareness. I want you to share this video with as many people as possible. The more they know that we know what they're doing, the less they are to take these egregious actions. So I want to throw this off to you guys. What do you guys think? What do you think of that video of those so-called agents showing up and questioning? What do you think of... What Zuckerberg said, what do you think of censorship in general? What are your thoughts on what I've presented today? I would love to hear from you. As always, I try really, really hard to answer all the comments. It's literally physically impossible for me to do that. So Super Chats get first priority. Members get top priority. Consider becoming a member. It only costs you a cup of coffee to support the truth and bring our country together and get our country back. They won't show this stuff. Legacy media, mainstream media, they won't show this stuff. If you made it this far... Uh, in the pin comment is our free Nez Nation Insider newsletter. It's free. This is your sure-proof, fail-safe way of never missing another video, live stream, breaking news, updates, top stories, current events that network television, mainstream media, legacy media won't dare show you. We need to get our country back. This is my purpose. God has called me to do this, and I feel this is my highest purpose yet. I think this is the best way that we can enact change. We need to raise awareness. Violence isn't the answer. Through media, through true, authentic communications, we can do this. Check out these videos right here. Um, they are absolutely terrific, especially the one that I posted yesterday. Check that one out and check this video out too. Oh my goodness, you got to see this one as well. As always, Niz Nation, God bless you. God bless your families. And may God bless America. I'll see you soon.